Welcome to Electron lecture online and besides being able to convert equations, polar equations to rectangular equations, rectangular equations to polar equations, we should also be able to convert coordinates. So here we have what we call polar coordinates, r equals 2, theta equals pi divided by 6. So let's go ahead and write it like this, so r theta is equal to that, and here we have rectangular coordinates, so we have x and y is equal to that. And how do we convert to the other coordinates? How do we convert this to rectangular coordinates? How do we convert that to polar coordinates? And to give us a, a little bit of a hint of what this looks like, here the radius is 2, and the angle is pi over 6 or 30 degrees, so that's that point right there. Here, of course, x, y coordinates, x equals 1, y equals minus 2, so that's that point right there. Now, how do we convert? Well, we know that x is equal to r times the cosine of theta, so in this case, x is equal to r, which is 2, times the cosine of pi divided by 6. Now, pi divided by 6 is the same as 30 degrees, so 30 degrees, that's uh, square root of 3 over 2. So x equals 2 times the square root of 3 over 2, and 2 divided by 2 goes to 1, and so therefore x equals the square root of 3. Now, the same for the y-coordinate, we say y is equal to r times the sine of theta, so this is equal to 2 times the sine of pi divided by 6, of course. Pi divided by 6 is 30 degrees. Sine of 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. So this is equal to 2 times 1 half, which is equal to 1. So y equals 1, and x equals square root of 3 over 2. So we can say that this can be written as the xy coordinate, which is equal to the square root of 3 and 1. And so that makes sense if you think about it. Square root of 3 is a little bit less than 2, and then 1 would be the distance right up there. So, that looks good. How about converting from polar to, um, convert, oh, from rectangular to polar coordinates? Well, that may be a little bit more difficult. So, here we can see that um, r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So, starting out with that, we can say r is equal to the square root of x, which is 1 quantity squared, plus y, which is minus 2 quantity squared. So this is equal to the square root of 1 plus 4. That means that r is equal to the square root of 5. So at least we got one of the two. What about the angle? All right, we know that theta can be found by taking the arctangent of y divided by x. So in this case, that would be the arctangent of y, which would be negative 2 over 1. And notice if you use that in a calculator, you get, and let me get my calculator out. So now, of course, we can do this in degrees or we can do this in radians. So first I'm going to put my calculator in, uh, let's see here, mode 4. So that would be in radians. So I go negative 2 divided by 1 is negative 2. I take the arctangent of that, and that gives me minus 63.4 degrees. So this is equal to minus 63.4 degrees. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I use the radian mode. So let's see here, radian mode. We can then go ahead and mode 5. That's how I put my calculator, radian mode. So 60, uh, no, go back. So minus 2. Take the arctangent of that and we get minus 1.107. So it's equal to minus 1.107 radians. I'll just go ahead and put radians in like that. Okay, and you can see indeed that if you start at the positive x-axis and you make a negative angle in this direction, so this would be r, and that would be theta in the negative direction. That's why you get a negative 63 degrees or negative 1.1 radians. Well, we could also find the positive angle. If we want an angle between 0 and 2 pi, then what I can do is add 2 pi to this, and then I get the positive angle. So that means, I can say, well, this is equal to negative 1.107 plus 2 pi radians. So if I do that, I get 2 pi, subtract from this, so I add plus the quantity 2 times pi equals and so I get an angle, theta is equal to 5.176 radians. So that gives me the positive angle. So finally, when I want to convert this to polar coordinates, I can say my polar coordinates, that would be r theta, can be written as, oops, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, could be written as the square root of 5 
for the length of R, because that's what I got right here, and the angle that would be 5.176, and that would be understood to be radians. So that would be the conversion from rectangular to polar coordinates. And that's how we do that.